Is Sipombolo going to cause chips or mamel sandals? Good people, things are happening, things are happening and there's a twist of things behind the scene. Now, as we speak, it has been believed and confirmed that sundowns are doing whatever it takes to get Sipombolo. They are working hard so that come uh, the opening of the transfer window, the 1st of July, Sipombolo would have been their player. They would have signed him and then it would only be a matter of registering him to the PSL as Mamelo Sundowns player. Now, I know a lot of people criticize me when I told them that Sundowns are busy creating a monopoly. They are monopolizing the whole thing that is called football. It's no longer a thing of everybody. It's no longer a free competition, but they are creating a competition to be up, or they are creating this competition to be uh, about Mamelo Sundowns. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, before we get into this video details, guys, if you are not yet subscribed, you're missing out. Please click on the on, on the click check, just check below here. There's a button called subscribe. As long as it's that, that button is red, it means you haven't subscribed. Subscribe, click the notification bell, and then like the video, comment in the comment section below. Join, become the member of this YouTube channel. Let's go back now, guys. Um, I'm gonna read what Sakala Duma has for you and I today. I'm gonna read firstly the, the heading there. The CR crew resident secret agent is uh, adamant. Sipombula's potential move to Mamelo Sundowns is as good as that. Now, I want to point out this. Now, they, they said that secret agent, now, resident secret agent. This is what it means. Now, the, the investigative journalism operates in this way. It has got the department, the secret intelligence department in itself, just like you see with the police. They are spread all over where they want them to be. So, when they say the secret agent, they are talking about people like that. They've got a secret agent that is monitoring the situation. You might find that the, 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 his part and parcel of the media Meeting, but the two clubs will not know about the person so I'm just giving you a brief a brief background about what they mean by secret intelligence specifically working for Sokala Duma and kickoff now he has this to say ne? the secret intelligent man it is no secret in the game that um, Mbule has a deal on the table to join Mamelo Sundowns in July 2022 from what I understand the agreement between Sundowns and Supersport may have contained condition to it, but we are led to believe it is as good as that. Hey, <laughs> let me repeat this words. Maybe you guys don't understand what I'm saying. I just want to repeat this statement. Yeah? It is no secret in the game that Mbule has a deal on the table to join Mamelo Sundowns in July 2022. From what I understand, the agreement between Sundowns and Supersport may have contained condition to it, but we are led to believe it is as good as done. Mm. Good people, things are, things are very tough. I do not understand why Supersport will stand in his way to leave in January. What probably because, um, because Sundowns wanted it that way. It makes sense. It makes no sense that Supersport will say he lacks discipline. But when told, when hold, um, went on to hold on him, for sure they would have been chasing him out of the door, taking their money from down and running. Instead, the secret agent said, nah. "That takes us to the player, both from the technical representative and the professional uh, perspective. Technically." There is no doubt when he when he wants to, Mbule can play. However, when he wants to, being the critical um, assessment, that is not good enough. His problem is consistency. How many times has he got through 90 minutes? Can he have effect on the game? Week in, week out. Good people, there's a lot that is happening. And uh, I'm, I'm, I want to say this and I will say it again. Mamela Sundowns, they are boring. Their strategy is boring. They are monopolizing this thing. They are making it to be more about Mamela Sundowns. Uh, they wanted to take. They've signed up, up, up Baka Nazir from the dog. Two Nigerian striker, strikers are already at Sundowns, training with Mamela Sundowns. 
Tebokhom kona sign with Mamelo Sundowns. Sipombule is with Mamelo. They want to sign Sipombule at Mamelo Sundowns. You have to ask yourself a question of why did you sign so much players? Do you really, really, really need them? The other thing that I want us to talk about is Stuart Baxter was speaking to the media during the NetBank launch at Centurion. He has this to say: When it comes to the transfer window, you cannot compete with Mamelo the Sundowns. They will win. You know what I'm saying? So he, has, he said that they have to find a strategic way in how they, they, they should recruit players. In the words of Fatal Davis, he was speaking to Thomas um, Lambo at the Ultimate Sport Show at Metro FM. And here's this to say, when it, comes to, when it comes to transfer window, there is no team in the PSL that can compete with the Mamelo Sundowns. Take the two statements now, sit down and analyze them very well. The, I'm not sure if you're getting what I'm getting, but from where I'm seated analyzing this, it tells me that possibilities are if Mamela Sandals are pressing too hard to get Sipombul, they now interested to Sipombul. It is based on based on the words of Sipo, of, of uh, Coach Stuart Baxter and um, Coach Fatal Davis. We can say that the, the Sipombul will become a, a Mamela Sandals player. Do, do, do you see the narrative? I mean, do you see the the principle and the concept in which I'm using to analyze this thing, yeah? based on their work, they say financially so they can't compete with Mamelo Sandals. And Mamelo Sandals have proven that by signing Debo Homukwena, double the value of Debo Homukwena. According to calculations, there is no player in the PSL that worth even more than 15 million, you know, if you were to buy that player. There is no player in the PSL that worth that amount. But, but Mamelo Sandals have reportedly uh, paid 25 million rand. They were competing with an international team all the way, all the way from Belgium. They managed to sign Sipombule out, out, outsmarting the team in Belgium by putting an enticing offer that they could, they couldn't deny. Sipombule couldn't deny. So you ask yourself in the, this following questions. So, the fact that David says they can't compete with Sundowns, Stuart Baxter says they can't compete with Sundowns. The question now is, is Sipombule as a Sundowns player come end of this season? Now, the other question that we have here is, ne? all these years, we have never had, we have never had a complaint about Sipombule being, um, uh, having, uh, maybe lacking discipline and all the stuff. But when Sipombule wanted to join Kaza Chiefs, uh, uh, Supersport promised that they would let him go. So when he wanted to join Kaza Chiefs during the January transfer window, and they, they decidedly decided to stand on his way, should it be, or could it be that Sipombule, <laughs> was so much frustrated because Super Sport United want him to go somewhere else, but Sipombule also want to go somewhere else. Could it be that we are heading towards that? You and I, we are left to analyze the situation as per our knowledge, as per our understanding of the game, as per our under, our our our, um, our 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 knowledge of football. But I, I don't know, guys. I, I don't see it now possible based on the statement that i've just given you based on all that i've just told you uh, to me it, it appears like the sipombule is no longer coming to kaza chiefs though at heart he wants to play for kaza chiefs the last question that i want to ask you is uh, is sandal signing sipombule because sipombule because they need sipombule or they signing sipombule for the sake of signing sipombule okay? guys let's let, let, let's stop being emotional about it let's stop Guys, Sundowns né, can substitute like for like. They've got players. Some departments, they've got three to four players. You ask yourself, what are you doing with the Pambul? Where, where are you taking him to? Guys, man, come on, come on, come on. Let's, let, 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 let's be fair. I know a lot of people uh, were criticizing me in the comment section below, telling me how biased I am, I, uh, that I hate Sundowns and, and, and all the stuff. But guys, facts are facts. Monopoly is there. You know and Sundowns are applying the monopoly mentality, wanting everything to be theirs. Then if you want to get it, you need to abide by their terms. And that's what basically I have. And we, we are saying that we are not excusing Kaza Chiefs and Orlando Pirate from finding any other ways to recruit players. We are not excusing them. They have development side, they've got the reserve side. They need to, if, if they can compete with Sundowns, from the market's point of view, then they need to find ways 
to, 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 to attract young players, develop them, and then take them to the first team. And let me allow, so please don't misinterpret what I'm just saying. I, I'm not fighting Sundowns, and I'm not excusing Kaza Chiefs, but I'm just pointing something that Sundowns is doing, which I'm not pleased with. And I'm, I know for a fact that a lot of people are not pleased with how Sundowns behave. You know, it's like Sundowns would buy players. The next thing they release other players. Other players are useless. And I keep asking this simple question. I don't believe that Sundowns needed to sign George Lebes. I don't believe that Sundowns needed to sign Opamanis. I don't believe that Sundowns needed to sign Josh Maluleg. I think they just wanted to destroy their careers. They really did not need them at Mamelo Sundowns. They were just jealous over the fact that these players are performing well in their teams and in the interest of distracting them, they have to sign them. And guys, we cannot sit here as South Africans and then we have to look and observe and watch this thing going on as if nothing is going on. No, guys, no, 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 no. Something is wrong at Sundowns and we need to say it. 